Well, we've reached the fourth episode and we're three quarters of the way through harvest. Everyone's feeling slightly frazzled after the last month's action, so this week's vlog is a bit of light entertainment. Hope you enjoy it. Marlborough, a land of beauty, a land of people and horses, a land of peace. The vintage of April 2009 threatens to change all that. A grey green scourge is enveloping the Marlborough countryside, and if left unchecked will rot on the vines of the region. Something drastic must be done to ensure that freedom prevails. It is left to the few brave men and women of Jules Taylor Wines to take up the challenge and defeat the Sauvignon. In the war room, General Taylor and her strategists devise a plan of action. Divisions of harvesters and tractors are amassed to take the savvy head on. There is vigorous debate over the best strategy, but the outcomes are all the same. The Sauvignon will be crushed. Commands from the war room are relayed to the field, and harvesters are brought into position. Our numbers are few, but our infantry and technology are second to none. We will be victorious. Liberated villagers jubilantly greet the harvesters. Weeks of planning, months of training, now put to the test. With the harvesters in place, the command to attack is given. Field commanders, under General Taylor's guidance, look on intently. These grapes are shaking in their boots as they contemplate their impending doom. And rightly so. In one swift movement, these Sauvignon are captured by Taylor's forces. Within hours, the battle is over. General Taylor and her forces have achieved victory. Taylor inspects the front line and converses with the local inhabitants. The torch of freedom burns brightly again. Our troops revel in the spoils of victory. Good job, soldier! 